The all-new Popeye Hour will return after these messages. Present Ronald McDonald and Rodeo Cowboy. Jumping cheeseburgers, it's a great day for a rodeo, don't you know? Hi, Grimace. Take a load off your feet. The okie dokie. Ah! I didn't know Ronald could ride. Neither did I. Nobody knows Wait for me. what's gonna happen now. Uh, he's up. Oh, he's down. He's on his side somehow. Well, uh, how'd he do that? Now he's making a new it's, friend. Let's really show him some partner. Why the Ronald don't you know? You know the fun will never end, even when Ronald stops to take a bow. Wow! Hoppin' hamburgers. All this ride is making me hungry. There's a place that Ronald knows. You know where, partner? For food and fun, that's where he goes. To McDonald's! But a hamburger shakes the fries. It's easy to round up a good time at McDonald's. <laughs> Bubble bubble gum comes through again with a fresh new flavor, strawberry flavor hubba bubba. It's soft, juicy, delicious, and lets you blow amazing no stick bubbles <sighs> that won't stick to your face. Hubba bubba comes through again with strawberry. Big bubbles, no trouble. <laughs> hubba bubba bubble gum. And now, back to the all-new Popeye Hour. And now, these messages. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's underoos. Well, wobble my webs. It's a real change of underwear. Wearing underoos is fun. <sighs> and you can choose from more than one. There's Hulk, Fred Flintstone, and the Flash. Superman. Spider-Man. The Things, the Smash. where you buy underwear. It's underwear that's fun to wear. And here's where my grandpa hid the secret formula for Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes. Why did he hide it? So nobody would steal it. That's why there are traps everywhere. Wow! The secret formula makes Frosted Flakes a delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. The secret taste of Frosted Flakes makes Tony say... They're good! Yeah, just got to learn to keep my trap shut. The all-new Popeye Hour will return after In the News and these messages. Next, another interesting story that's in the news. In the news, a lot of talk about public opinion polls. You've already heard, and will be hearing more, about polls, as poll takers try to predict who's most likely to be elected president. We'll be back with polls in the news. Sponsored by the many fine products of General Foods. <laughs> Watch me trick Fred. Hey, Fred! Yeah? First one to lift these dumbbells, get your fruity pebbles. No sweat. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. He won my pebbles. Mm, delicious. Barney, this is no dumbbell. Takes one to know one, Fred. Post fruity and cocoa pebbles rice cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Yabba dabba delicious. And now, polls in the news. Hi. Polls are a way of telling what people are thinking about. Many politicians use polls to find out what issues concern the voters, as well as to measure their chances of being elected. Presidential candidates study polls to determine where they should concentrate their campaign efforts. To discover who's ahead in a presidential race, pollsters don't have to ask all the possible voters what they think. Instead, they ask about 1,500 people who represent different economic and educational levels and different racial and religious backgrounds. That's called a sample. Everyone in a poll is asked the same questions. Their answers are fed into a computer, which tabulates them and comes up with the results. In the past, political polls have not been perfect. Some were based on incorrect samples, and many of those polled never voted. Other polls were taken too long before Election Day, and people changed their minds.
Today's polls are more scientific, but pollsters are careful to point out that there's room for error in their results. So when polls show, as they did this week, that President Carter and Ronald Reagan are pretty much neck and neck as they race toward election day, it means that right now, it's almost impossible to predict who will be elected November 4th. I'm Christopher Glenn with Polls in the News. Tonight, it's the all-new Jim Conway Show. Join Jim and his crazy cast of characters for a half hour of super-duper fun on the Jim Conway Show. Tonight on CBS. Sergio Valente. Sergio Valente. Playful. We love you, Sergio. Sergio Valente. Available at Abraham and Strauss. Warner Wolf Show, Tuesday, 7.30 on 2. And now, back to the all-new Popeye Hour. The all-new Popeye Hour will return after these messages. <laughs> this boy is losing his pole. Why did he lose his pull so soon? Mm. He didn't fuel up with a good breakfast. Mm. Cheerio! Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and yummy Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast... It'll really get you going! Hey! Cheerio! What's that he's got hiding? Up his sleeve. It's a neat wrist racer that's built for speed. Wrist racers, you start them with a twist. You can rev them, you can race them. Right from your wrist. Wrist racers, they're race sets you wear on your wrist. Wrist racers, you start them with a twist. You can rev them, you can race them. Right from your wrist. Wrist racers. Wrist racers come complete with racer, wristband, ramp, launch pad, and pop-up dome from Knickerbucker. And now, back to the all-new Popeye Hour. 